What is up, everyone? Espo Strat Baseball Network back with another unboxing slash review. Uh, this time, uh, it is for a bowling game, as you can see here, in the pocket version two, uh, back from 2014. So this game's three games old, three years old, and um, found it on one of the Delphi boards today. Uh, a gentleman named Mark makes the game. Uh, looks awesome, to be honest with you. There's two versions of cards and dice as well as a PC version. This is going to be the version 2 obviously of the cards and dice game because I'm not a PC guy. Uh, so the good thing about this game is even though a version 3 hasn't been made there is a version 3 in the works and there is uh, an Excel template to actually make your own cards which is kind of cool to me as well. So uh, really quick you have the instructions, three pages worth of instructions, uh, what's needed to play the game, three six-sided dice, okay? So we go to our vast uh, array of dice. So you need three six-sided, it does not matter any color. Uh, if you want to pick the same colors as well, it doesn't matter. Uh, so you take three dice, no 20s, no 10s, no 12s, no nothing, it's just six-sided. You take three six-sided dice, and that's it. You need see if we can get that to focus a little bit. One or more bowler cards, which we have, and I'll show you. A uh, special chart out of the pocket. I will show you that as well. And a printed or electronic score sheet. He gives you score sheets. Uh, I will be making my own. I'm probably going to try to make one so that it will automatically <clears throat> um, tabulate scores for me, even though I bowled for roughly 16 years, so I kind of know the scoring. Okay, games created to, to play faster than most bowling games and allow for less lookups on player cards. Uh, memorization of results will be explained at the end of this document. Everything starts with rolling three six-sided dice. Dice are read as a sequence, so different colored dice are not required. It will always read lowest number first. So it'll go, if you roll a one, a two, and a three, it'll go one, two, three, etc., etc. Okay, you got the choose, uh, choose one or more bowling cards, the out-of-the-pocket chart should be kept on the side as you will need it to consult the chart. Okay, reading a bolus card, etc., etc. And then it gives you the results section. And then you have more. Instructions here and here. Here are the out-of-the-pocket charts. Uh, so if you have a high-low sequence, you, you roll a 1-1-1. One, one, one. Bolo leaves a 7-10 split. Roll three dice. If you roll triples, he makes the spare. If any any pair, uh, meaning like a 1, a 5, and a 5, it's an 8-0. If you roll anything other than that, it's an 8-1. It's still an open frame, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. So these are those. And then there is another one of the out-of-the-pocket charts. Here are the bowl, here are the bowler cards. Comes in a PDF format, so you will have to cut and print yourself. I put these on 110-pound cardstock, as well as the charts. You will see that these are his top 32 greatest bowling, individual bowling uh, seasons of all time. And what he did here is Mark actually um, normalized their scoring to actually compete with the better or the newer, let me not say better, newer bowlers. So you'll see here that, um, so we start with Walter, Walter Ray Williams Jr., the R means he's a righty. It gives you, this is a 2007 card, uh, what his average was, uh, and then what his normalized average would be of 224.94. So what it says here is if you roll a 2-2, two, 3-3, two, three, three, or 4-4, four, four, you, you will then consult the out of the, the pocket uh, chart, and then you'll re-roll three dice. If you roll a 1-1-1, one, 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 it automatically is a nine open frame. A 2 one, one, th uh, 4 one, one, five, one, one, and 6 one, one, they are all strikes. Uh, don't know why, if you roll a 3 one, one, why it's not here. I haven't figured that out yet. Okay. If you roll a 5-5-X five, five or a 6-6-X, six, six, these two are only good for frames 2 through 10. So if you roll a 5-5 five, five and a etc., what will happen is you will revert back to what his score was two frames ago. What he likes to 
deem this as, and it's in the rule book, uh, as figuring out the 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 lane. But if it's not two frames, if the if you don't have a chance to go back two frames, or you don't have a chance to go back one frame, uh, you will then use these. So if he you roll a five five three or a six six three, and it's the first frame, he gets a seven one. So you have to also keep in mind that <clears throat> there are instances where it could be where a five five x. You may have rolled a 5-5-3 five, five, on your first ball, so you have that 7-1. In the third frame, you roll a 5-5-3 five, five, again, you're going to go back two frames and see that he rolled a 7-1 again. So definitely keep that in mind. Now, on instances where these total numbers aren't on, none of the numbers that you rolled are referred to here. And I just realized why 3-1-1 is not on here. Okay, good. So if on instances where none of the numbers that you've rolled, let me just get three dice out really quick. And I hate these dice because they're rounded edges. So a 5-5-4, five, 5-5-4 five, four. <laughs> five, five, four would be a 6-3 open frame. Or if it's two frames, obviously, et cetera, et cetera. So what would happen is, is that on instances where none of these numbers are, res are correspond to these dice, you would actually add the total and look down here. So this is a 14. For instance, if a 14, if it wasn't a 554, if it was a 644, that wouldn't be represented in any of these. So you would look down here. 644 is 14. 10, 10 to 15 is a strike. So he would get a strike for that frame. Uh, you roll a 7 total, it's a 7 spare. 6 is a 6 spare. 8 is an 8 spare. 9 is a 9 spare, etc., etc. Pretty self explanatory <clears throat> for that. One thing I really do like about this is that it takes out the variables for for uh, lane conditions uh, so you don't have to worry about oh what type of oil pattern is it etc etc uh, there's nothing that says you can't make your own um, tournament chart so you can have your own professional bowlers tour and put them in any location that you want you can play a single game you could play match game you could play baker style you could play uh, a team a team game uh, anything you want with these 32 and just to give you an example uh, you know an idea of who's in here you have mark roth norm duke earl anthony mike Olby, jason belmonte chris barnes parker bone the third billy hardwick uh let's see sean rash wes mallet bill o'neill ray bluth jason couch dick weber patrick allen michael fagan pete weber Mike Scroggins, Brian Voss, Mika Koivuniemi, Marshall Holman, uh, David Ferraro, Ascu Palarma. So now this is somebody I don't know. I, I've really stopped watching bowling for a very long time. Uh, Amleto Monicelli, Robert Smith. Robert Smith is one of my favorite bowlers of all time. Uh, Dick Allen. And then, as you can see, you got these NA here cards, and I'll get to those in a minute. Uh, the last five in this list are Ryan Schaefer, John Grant, Del Ballard Jr., Mark Baker and Eric Forkel. So guys like Carmen Salvino and uh, Carmen Salvino isn't in this isn't in this uh, list. Uh, let's see. You have Tommy Jones is not in this list. Uh, so that leads me to these. And if you have the Excel file, you are actually able to make your own cards. You pump in all of the information to the Excel file, and it basically spits out an entire card for you which is superb there is for the volume for version one of the of this game and there's really not much of a difference i didn't print out the cards i will eventually he has the entire 2012 2013 pro bowlers tour season so you can you'll get a lot of unknown guys which is great if you really want to have a full uh pro bowlers tour i think for us for youtube purposes for the espo bowling league the ebl or the ebn espo bowling network uh, i think these 32 are going to ring true or strike a chord with everyone who's ever watched bowling or has bowled at all i think this is going to be perfect because you'll be able to actually remember mike albee and earl anthony norm duke isn't in here either which oh he is he is norm duke is here you know i haven't really had a chance to look through the cards yet uh, so I'm going to cut the cards. have my handy-dandy trusty cutter here. I recommend this cutter. It's from a company named Cricut, but you can get this cutter anywhere, especially Walmart. 
It's fantastic because you put the cards in and there's a open plastic piece right here with a ridge that you could actually just trace down the line, give it a little, cut it twice, and you are good to go. Especially with the 110 pound card stock, you should cut it twice. Uh, so yeah, it basically gets to the edge of the page. You're just gonna have a little bit of runoff here that you're gonna have to trim off. It's really nothing crazy. And that's really it. I'm kind of interested in this. This is going to be a lot of fun. I am going to develop a way to do a full Pro Bowlers Tour. Uh, I think, you know, I know Bowlerama from Play, and I think Home Card, uh, Home Court Games has a has a Pro Bowling game that I'm, real, I'm still really looking at, which I may still get. Um, the one beautiful thing about this, here's your price point. Free. That's the most important thing to me, you know, if you're want to play tabletop on a budget i already have the cards i already had the pay the the card stock i already had the dice rather i already had the card stock why not just download the cards and print them out and say hey here you go here's a free game and again he ha does have a delphi search in the pocket bowling uh delphi and it'll pop right up and it's still active and mark is super friendly and super active with everybody on the board which is great and I think it's going to be a lot of fun. So be on the lookout for the professional Espo Bowling League Professional Bowlers Tour. 32 guys. I'll do it the old way. And when I say the old way, it's going to be stepladder finals for the TV tapings of the game itself. So all the match play, all of the leading up to is going to be done behind the scenes. Uh, I'm going to roll that myself and then I'll do like a leaderboard. And then we'll do the old ABC, te you know, telecast of um, back in the day when Pete Weber and Marshall Holman were bowling, and you would have the guys that would they would just announce the the five that were in it. So it would be this top five make it to step ladder finals. Five plays four, winner plays three, winner plays two, winner plays one. That's it. So I think it's gonna be a lot of fun. It's gonna be something to deviate from the norm. And uh, yeah, anybody who wants to download it, download it, print it out. Tell me what you think. Um, definitely, I know bowling is definitely a niche sport, but I think it'll be a lot of fun. And I think it'll be something that we can, uh, we can all talk about and talk shop on. So it'll be a lot of fun. Espo Strap Baseball Network, we will talk again soon. And next time you see me, hopefully I'll be one tooth less because I have my tooth, uh, my dentist appointment tomorrow. And, um... Next time we, we, we meet, we'll be doing a live feed for the Carlton replay. Definitely have a doubleheader of, of starts four and five for that. All right, guys. Talk again soon.